So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a, a live stream with live peoples. Recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube. And I'm playing with a, an old set of Neo Art um, crayons by Karen Dash. And this is a gorgeous set um, that I love. And I've actually now given it to my daughter because you can make so many hundreds of colours with these. And they're before near colour twos. So they're basically a fat finger full of colour, but it's a near colour two. Um, and recently I found, well, this weekend I found um, a set of 60, the full set of the original Neo Art Aquella. So I've bought, I bought them. So I thought, well, I'll have a play. So what I was trying to do is to make some kind of grungy colours. And that's how to make nice colours with complementaries. Uh, and of course, here we've got a really nice selection of uh, reds and yellows. Um, they should be probably white, bright yellow. Um, put my yellow ochre there. Then the pink. And then we've got purple, purpley blue, and then there's a cold blue. And there's a black, brown, and a green. So it's a really nice selection of colours. So I'm picking complementary colours, and then I'm going for the brightest first, and then I'm manipulating the next one in. So you you can't really see much of the true colour from any of them. Just bear with me a second. Sorry about that. So welcome to YouTube, uh, Ustream. This is a, a live stream from Ustream.tv. Um, and I'm going to be playing in the Imagimorphia. Um, and I've had an idea to do this with the butterfly, but I thought I'd have a practice because I didn't want to make a mess. So I want to kind of grunge up some colours. So I'm using um, bright colours but using the complementary, so it's dulling them down and changing them, if that makes any sense. Uh, so um, we have um, a pipe kind of going around there. So I'll zoom in and you can see what I'm doing. So this is a live stream with live people. So thank you for stopping by, everybody. Hope everybody's well. Did have a spot of bother with you stream, but... I seem to have sorted it out a bit and I've gave my laptop, old laptop, a good talking to and it's behaving itself today. So if I've got kind of a green, um, this is kind of a, a turquoise green. If I look on the colour wheel at a turquoise green, I want a red orange. And I actually have a red orange there. Um, and so I think I'm going to probably go with this. But this time I want to pick the green first. And I'm using a number two uh, Derwent watercolour brush. Um, because I love the one. So if you're doing fine detail, one is fine. But if you're doing a lot of... Uh, manipulating then you want the number two and I try to keep it fairly clean and not too wet especially with the nails you just want a touch of color so I'm going to activate the turquoise first this time and then activate the red in and that's going to give me a really grungy dirty color so you don't have that gorgeous red and you don't have that other lovely color you've got some grunge and I quite like that. I think that butterfly is going to look quite good in that 
so um, I like the pink so I'm going to do the pink again and I use that green so I think I'm going to use um, I think I might use this blue this time so I'll manipulate the pink first and they weren't very complimentary because that's made a very bright purple so they weren't, they weren't quite as co as complimentary as I wanted thank you darling yes please darling, thank you thanks thank you excuse me a slurp of coffee And again, it's a bit grungy coloured, and I quite like that. Now, there is a little bit of colour left on here, I think. No, there wasn't enough. Um, so I'm going to try this pink, and I'm going to do that. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do this. Is kind of a... Um, it's a dark orangey colour, so I think I might try a yellow-orange. I think I'm going to try with... Um, the paler blue I think now you can see as soon as the two colours touch it goes green but I want it to grunge really so I'll go yellow and it has gone more kind of bright green colour than grunge really but it's it's not bad it's still not too bright uh, there's another bit of pipe there I might go yellow ochre and, and again I've not done this before I just thought I'd have a bit of a play and see what happens with these these really well pigmented colors that's a nicer grunge that's a really nice grunge. So that one was um, that was malachite green with yellow ochre, and that was quite nice. I'm going to do the whole of that one. So you can put the yellow ochre at the top, um, and that's because it's not a true green and a true yellow. So you're having a a, a bit of a nice kind of contrast on that. Now that unfortunately blended itself but it's given quite a few and there's there would be hundreds of greens in there it's not quite as grungy as that one I don't know what I did we'll see and we'll have an, another orange. Let's see. And we'll have a purple. And you do need to twist your brush to a point so you can just manipulate the little bit you need and then bring in that purple so the yellow dulls the bright purple and the purple dulls the yellow just some nice grunge hi judy welcome to bunny's designs anybody else popping in So I thought I'd have a bit of a play with these set of 15 before I got the big new babies out and had a play. Um, but I quite like I quite like um, some of the colours that's happening. It's 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 what I wanted. I want to grunge things up a bit. So. Um, And 
red and blue it's grunged up that red a little bit I've got nothing vibrant so you can put that in there and again you know that's that's a really nice purpley blue purpley gray um, and yet I've made that one so I really like that it's a really nice color that it's a purpley gray there so oh, it's a big pipe there so we're gonna go with um, I did like the bright green and the orange actually so I'm gonna go with the green sorry the red that's what I should have said and I'm going to go for this red as well this time, I think. So, I'm going to manipulate the red first. and then I do have quite a lot of red on there so that's going to really kind of grunge that up I don't want it mixed completely I want it just a bit kind of grunged so we haven't got such a bright green oops sorry old dog So a nice bit of grunge, I think, going on there. And what else have we got? We've got an orange colour. Um, I think we might have that yellow ochre. And I'm going to put... Um, I think I'm going to put this colour to I think. So the yellow ochre t tends to grunge up quite nicely. So what we're saying about mixing colours, you know, all of a sudden we've got a lot more colours. Um, and I've made at least 30. Um, there's at least four different colours in there by using two colours. So but if you do that with every one, you end up with hundreds of colours. Um, I like, I think I like the, uh, I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to try something a bit different now. I've got this red. And I'm going to shove a bit of purple in there. And kind of see what that does. And remember what we said about the colour scheme. So that does nothing. They're very bright. You need the complementary colour to dull it down. So we need some green over there. And the green should actually do both because it'll have the yellow to make the green. Oh, that's quite nice. Quite like that. So the green had the blue in it and the yellow. So it had the yellow in it for the purple and it had the green in it for the red. So actually it worked really well, but it was a sheer fluke. So we'll do um, another red and I think we'll do this green this time and see what happens. So we've got our kind of malachite. which has kind of really grunged up the red. And then what we can do is just touch and make sure your brush is clean. And then look what happens to the malachite when you put, it's almost like a rust. So I quite like that as well, but I do like the purpley red and the green one, that was quite nice. It's remembering what colours are what, but you can just about see what you've used. I think I liked the yellow ochre 
and the purple. I think I liked those two together. Um, but I suppose there's no real harm in slapping another bit of colour in there as well. See what happens. Oh, we kept that. We kept the green. But there's something quite nice going on there. And then I've got enough to do that. So that is almost an olive because it was a warm yellow. Yellow ochre. Isn't cold. So that's again a nicer grey. So if you water down green, yellow ochre, grass green, yellow ochre, and a little bit of the um, cobalt violet, you're going to get some really nice greys and and an olive greys as well. So I like that. Um, and that's taking that. That's taking. Um, these three for your greys because they are secondary colours orange green and purple and so they're going to they're going to make some really nice greys so actually i think i might i did like the yellow ochre but i think i'm going to have a bit of a play just with these but i did quite like those um but i'm just going to have a play with these colours so we're going to have a purple And a bit of green. And then I'm going to chuck in a bit of yellow. Now, they are quite chunky, these. So you don't really need much. So sorry, guys, I'm not watching chat at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm concentrating. So if you do the green and the yellow, you're going to get um, a brown. The green and the purple, you're going to get like a malachite colour. That's quite nice. Um, if we mix them a bit further... It's a murky purpley, purpley green. So I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. It's growing on me. But of course, these are colours that are quite unusual. Now you could probably match them up if you had all of the hundreds and hundreds of different colours. Um, but um, I'm quite enjoying myself making these up. So I'm going to try that one with this blue this time. I haven't tried this one. This one is... And instantly it goes green. Uh, this is Prussian blue. And it's gone instantly green. But if we... If we do that, we have a really nice kind of effect. Like that. There's just a bit of a light hanging on there. It's better with me, I had just a mouthful of coffee. So I'm going to have to go back to... I think that was orange actually, but I'll put yellow in it now. And that's going to make a big difference. It's going to make a huge difference, is that... Because it's got red in it now, so it will make a difference. So we'll get that yellow going, get the green going, and then introduce the purple, and then take the green into the purple, and then take that up. kind of like that as well and again I've got some at the end so tight Yorkshire lass I'm just going to do a grungy dirty olive colour which also works quite well 
see if we've got a little nut somewhere. And let's have a look. I'll try the pink again. That looked quite interesting. So we've got pink. And what did we have? Here? I like. I do like those colours. But we had a pink. And um, so if you look on the colour wheel for pink, then again you can sell these colours are definitely out. So that's the orangey red. So behind here is the pinky reds, the red violet is a yellow green so grass green so we can activate that pink oopsie that's why i've got to be careful i don't knock the coffee off <laughs> Activate that and then take it to the green. Because we want to dull that pink down and we want to dull the green down. But we don't want a dead match. We don't want a dead heat. We want it kind of one grungy and one grungy. But So I like the fact that we've taken a very bright pinky um, purplish red with a grass green which is very bright and we've made some dull pinks and dull greens just by adding two colours together and so I kind of like that idea I did like that yellow ochre um, I'm going to try oh I want a pinky purple don't I really so I'm going to try um the cobalt violet. Now I'm going to try French ultramarine, I think. So some of these won't work, and some you'll think, uh, oh, I like that. So that's the idea, is to have a play. And I'm playing with a page that didn't really like, um, like this one at the other side was not looking forward to doing all these nuts and bolts and things but kind of really like making some grungy colours up and then using using them as a blue grey that's a gorgeous that's almost Payne's grey And I've forgotten how I made it now. <laughs> it's great. Uh, but I did I use French ultramarine. French ultramarine is is a Payne's grey. The French ultramarine. I do like these kind of ready um, malachite I think is a nice one as well. You know, turquoisey green with a bright red. We'll manipulate that quite nicely into some grungy colour, and then we can just move over here and fill this one in. And that's like a grey green, that one. So once I get all my colours out, I shall be having a good play. I don't think this one was quite so bad, but I just feel like having a... So I've put yellow with purple, and then I've put some turquoise green in. I think that's almost like a kind of a... A rust colour and then have an exhaust there which is a very very kind of rustic green colour greys so I'm making colours and I'm making the taking it a step further with a drop more water and that's taking it to a grey scale 
so I think I'm gonna go with yellow oak for that one. And if you use the other end, you can get some quite fine lines. And we have a little grey screw there, so there's some really nice uh, grey greens coming through as well. So I'm going to have that orange and this colour. So we make the green grungy with the yellow and the yellow grungy with the green. So I'm having quite a lot of fun and I am trying to get that highlight, the lightest colour on the top. It's not always working but I am trying. Some really nice greens because eventually you end up with these colours together. I'm going to dull this down because I don't like it. So for the purple, I could use, and this is how I use them, making a little well, and you keep going. Um, I'm just going to kind of grunge that up a bit. This colour has kind of grunged up. The blue instantly. Now I do have to wash my brush out. But just by putting that bright orange, it's dulled the blue. And it's dulled the purple. And that's, you just made it a bit grungier. And I quite like it now. So just adding black to something is a bit boring, but if you add other colours, you get some really nice effects. So I think we're going to have that, I think we're going to have a bit of that purple, and I think I'm going to do red, and some bright green. And so, we'll get this red going. So we can get that green in there as well. When we get that green, it makes everything a little bit duller. But then we would need to get some red into that green. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. I think that's going to be a good colour. And 
we have something over here which this is a different grey it's a so I think I'm going to enjoy doing that butterfly but I'm going to make all my own greys like I did here these are all homemade greys um, but I like these more vibrant colours but then they're kind of rusted up a bit so I, I think this is how I'm going to do the butterfly and a bit of pink and then I'm going to put um, bright green with that And that really does kind of make a grungy pink and a grungy grey. So thanks guys for stopping by. Um, and that's a pink grey. So I've made a pink grey there. It's a pink grey. So I'm going to follow his body down. So he's got purples and reds and oranges. Um... I wonder what we'll do if we do browns, because it's a ready brown. Brown's got red in it, so we'll try some green and see what happens. It's quite a nice grungy colour, isn't it? That one, that's a nice one. And if we take that up there it's a grey so that makes a very good grey very quickly and again that's good to know I'm just going to take that up there because I've made a boo-boo now I think I just have a bit of a diamond there going So I would never have thought about doing this if I hadn't have, um, I did a bit of it when I mixed the greys, but not really roughly mixing these colours together. Um, there's some quite nice rusting kind of grungy colours. And then if you leave them in between, you're getting quite a few different colours. And I need another nut. I think I'll have to do that nut. So I may as well do his head. And I think we'll have... Oh, I do like, I do like that red and green thing going on, I have to say, I do like that red and green thing going on. Some nice colours in there. And we need a the grey screws. So again, we've got so many greys going on here. And I think I'll have one of that one. That one. You get to know your favourites very quickly. Mm. 
and we have yellow ochre. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize it was off camera. So we've got yellow ochre. We've got that purple. And then we've got that French ultramarine. almost a warm brown. I think we'll have bright yellow and bright purple. first bright green and bright pink It's coming along a bit, and it's coming along. We just need a neck. So again, we've got a different blue. We have a different yellow. some nice colours coming out of these. If, if I can remember them all, it'd be good. What I need to do is, I don't really want a green to come out of there, really. That one's a grey green, so that's quite nice. A green grey. Um, it's a fun thing to do. This it really is good fun. And if you stick a bit of of a different colour in there, you get nice surprises. For grunge. Well, we could pick up a complementary grey and just fill in bits and pieces. That would be quite fun. I think I'm going to give him a very bright eye. I don't 
think I'm going to grunge that up. So I really like that. It was an experiment, but it, it kind of works quite well, quite well, I think. Oops, wrong one. So let's have a look. Some really strange greys. So these are made up with a Caran d'Ache nail colour 2. It's just scratching two or three colours together and then manipulating them. And this is using watercolours making greys. Um, so I really like these colours. And they're kind of not boring pale greys, but they're kind of grungy but bright if that makes any sense uh, and it's still a fairly quick way to work and even though I've been over that twice it's managed to keep very flat uh, and fairly fast and you can get into some very tight spaces with these neos um, sorry not neos um, So I've quite enjoyed that little experiment. So thanks for joining me. I hope uh, you play with the colours you have and try mixing lots of different colours together. find a nuts and bolt and that's quite a dull purple is that one so I quite enjoyed that so I hope you enjoyed that I'll just put out a bit more if you can see a bit better so there's some really nice colours in there and all I've done is just scratched a little bit of colour in um, that one goes back around there. Oops. You've got to go with the, the flow otherwise. And instead of those bright colours, we're getting some really kind of grunged up. Grungy reds and grungy blues. You don't want to take it too far because you will lose the kind of grunginess. I kind of like that. So that's my play with my, and I love the fact that you just bob them in there and shut them up. So that's my Neo Aquel with my um, Imagimorphia. Thank you for watching.